My name is Harold C. Joe. This was a major site for us in the early mid-90s when we came and recovered quite a few out of here. It's been handed down to us generation to generation, the work I do for our community. It's for the couching community. I've been involved in grave, grave digging for a long time. Since he was 14 years old, to be exact. You gotta be strong, not just mentally, but spiritually. I see the more impact is with the spirituality part of doing that work, and it's difficult work. If you don't look after yourself, yeah, you can be affected quite seriously. Traditionally, the work is done by hand with a shovel, and it's still done that way today. Uh, we don't involve a lot of uh, new age material, machinery, so somewhat. We just go in by hand, start early in the morning, probably at about four o'clock in the morning, and we do the work. It's a site he worked on recovering his ancestors. There are many sites. There are so many sites that are marked, mapped, but there are hundreds more that are unknown. Along with being a grave digger, he has another role that takes him across the province. My work involves working alongside archaeologists. If an archaeologist team is brought in, I'm brought in along to assist them with, we do uh, archaeological impact assessment on a site. The desecration of a burial site or a village site to our people is, is, has a lot of impact. It's been going on for hundreds of years. With increasing development in unmarked burial sites, Joe says there's need for education. And I don't feel and understand and come to believe that the non-native or whoever is desecrating our sites understands that there's a whole deeper part to who we are as Aboriginal people. Spiritually, it has major impacts, but no one knows that. If I was to go into a cemetery and start to re up unearth somebody's loved one, of course we're gonna have some serious concerns. What is the difference between that and an ancestral burial site of our people? He says he'd like to see inclusion instead of exclusion. Instead of bringing in a team after bringing machines on a property, he would like consultation before any work is done so his ancestors aren't disturbed, which would save a lot of grief not only for First Nations, but also the developers. I've been doing this work for a long time and I, I feel when I talk with other people or non-Aboriginal people ask me these questions and I, I it's amazing what they'll say to you. and it's. You know, so which leads me up to wanting to educate a lot of people about what's so important to our people. For more information on Harold Joe's work, visit his website, dustinbones.ca. In Duncan, I'm Shetta Singh.